Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Election Day. I'm on my way down to vote myself. You are? Who are you going to vote for? Uh, that's kind of personal. But if you must know, I must. I must. This ain't blazing saddles, everybody. <laughs> so who you voting for? Well, I'll give you some hint. I'll give you some hints. You guess. He's handsome. Mm-hmm. Smart. Definitely funny. Tall. Well, not real tall, but tall. Uh works hard. Makes YouTube videos. Oh, JT, that's so nice of you. You didn't have to talk. You can't vote me in. I'm not on the ballot. You? <laughs> I'm talking about me, silly. You don't fit all those profiles. <laughs> uh, I didn't say old. Big. That's a nice word. Man, that's mean. I don't want you as my president if you're going to be mean. Well, I'm just kidding. I love you, buddy. I love you too, JT. But you're not on the ballot and you can't vote. Why not? Because you ain't real. <sighs> Politicians ain't real. <laughs> In Washington? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're not going to get into politics. And it's more than half, probably. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Anyway, folks, we're going to get on with the show. Get out and vote. Regardless of who you vote for, you got to vote. It's your right. We're going to get out with those sales. Hope you got half an hour. I mean, half, half a minute. <laughs> That's not funny either, is it? No, it's not funny, JT. All right, let's get on with it. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Hey, give me a booth. I'm not standing in no line. <laughs> he ain't standing in line. Okay, well, you ain't going then. That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, I'm going to get into my sales real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to run a sale because I got nothing else to do. I had three sales yesterday. Um, one of the worst days I've ever had after having a decent day the day before. The day before, I ended up with two thirty-three thirty-nine in in profit off of seven sales, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, but I'm going to run some sales today and tweak some things and just see what I can get out of it. Um, I need to be listing, but I gotta, I gotta run the stuff that I've already got too, and try to do something with it. But one of the first things I sold was Mr. Slice and Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990. Um, I basically had, uh, less than a buck in this and I sold this for $7.99 with free shipping. So nothing crazy. And then I sold... This Exxon Mobil ball cap, it's a snapback. It is not K product, it is auto. And I paid uh, 18 cents at the bins. I sold this for $9 plus shipping on top. And then the last thing I sold was some uh, mini Toy Story figures. And um, I'll show those to you. And I sold those for, I had 50 cents invested. Sold them for eleven ten plus shipping on top. And I actually shipped those yesterday because before I left for the post office, they dinged and I pulled them and went ahead and shipped them. That's the way I do things on the Cap Gas show. So I'll show those to you. And then I'm going to show you how to run a sale. Um, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing because to do a 500 sale takes a couple of hours to go through it and pick. And, but I'm going to show you the beginning of how to do it, a few of the options, and then I'll show you the ending so you know what to do. Um, you just got to pick your own stuff. And, uh, I've already got one sale today going to Germany, but I'll show you that tomorrow. And, uh, there you go. Talk to you in a minute. Okay. These are the Toy Story minifigures. There's six of them. There you go. You got the spoon, the horse, the dinosaur, Mr. Woody, the dachshund. And I cannot remember the girl's name, but I'm sure one of you will tell me. I paid 50 cents for these and sold them for 11, 10 plus free shipping. I made 569 off that. I'll make probably a couple of dollars off the Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and um, the Exxon cap, I'll make a decent amount. 
I had twenty nine oh nine and twenty eight oh nine in sales off of a dollar sixty eight in investment off those three shipments, and now we're going to get into how to run a sale. <clears throat> I know some of you know how to do this, so if you do, you can go back to what you were doing. All right, so we're going to do uh, promotions and out of marketing off the seller hub, and then over here on the right, we're going to create a promotion. Okay, and you're going to come down to sell of it and markdown. And then you would choose here <clears throat> the discount level. So I'm going to do a 15% off sale. And then you can make it whatever you want. And if you wanted to do other discounts, like buy another item and get another 10% or whatever, you can do that as well. Uh, free shipping, all that kind of stuff. But I just basically do the, the one because I do 500 at a time. And again, I have that option because I have so many items. But And then you select your items over here on the right. And then you can do two different things. You can create one with 10,000 items, which I don't have. And then you have one with 500, and that's the one I always pick. And now I've got my 15% off sale set up as far as the 15%. Now I'm going to get in the price range and this is where you're going to determine of the things in your store. And if you have less than 500, it really ain't going to matter. But I, because I have over 3,500, it does matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything that's like $10 or less or $15 or less. Because it just isn't worth doing a 15% off sale, in my opinion. But So $15 is what I'm going to start at. And then I'm going, and because I have 3489 showing here in my in my uh, store here. Um and I'm going to go up to, let's say, $200. And then I'm going to hit filter, and it's going to reduce that number. Okay, it went down to 1974. That means I have the rest of those items either over the, of the 3,400 or either above 200, which that's not the case. But they're below 15. So that's a lot of items that are under that. So now how many days on the site? So the new stuff I probably won't do because it's new and it's still got a chance to sell. It's fresh. So I'll do 30 days up to 1,000 days because that could be old stuff. And then I'm going to hit filter again. Let's see where it goes. So now I just dropped it by a couple hundred. So I've got some old stuff on here, at least 30 days old. So now the key is to go through these and start picking. And anything that has calculated shipping, I'm going to look at those. Any, if it has a line through it, it's already on a sale that I'm running already, so I won't mess with those. Um, and if it's free shipping, I'm probably not going to look at it because if I paid $3 for that and I reduce it to 15% and then still do free shipping, I can still make money. But in, you just got to weigh the, the difference. You got to calculate it. Plus, remember, eBay gets a piece of this, so almost 12% goes to them. So are you going to make any money? And if it's something you just want to get rid of, then go for that. Um, in this case, I've had this for a long time, so I will. I won't on this one. It's $2 less. And anything that that I want to just get rid of and try to get my money back and maybe make a little bit on it, I'll do those. Here's another one. Here's another one. I don't mind doing those because I know that I didn't pay a ton for them. And so I'm going to try to get rid of those. And with free shipping, that may help you. Okay. So now we go through, and I'm looking for other things. Uh, the 505s I'll do. 501s I probably wouldn't just because, oh, we got an interruption here. There's a spider on top of my computer, and the cat guy don't like spiders. And even though he's a little one, he's got to go. But I didn't get rid of him. He got away. Where'd he go? <clears throat> All right. He'll show up in a minute. Probably not where I want him to. Um, okay. So now I'm continuing on with the spider show. Again, I got a bunch already on sale, so I'm going to keep going. And I'm only at six. And this is why it takes so long, because you're going through all these, and you're trying to figure out where am I going to do this? You know, which ones am I going to pick? And things that are really popular, obviously you don't want to, you don't want to look at doing. But things that have been sitting for a while, like these, stuff like that, 
you want to definitely look at uh, trying to get rid of. And a lot of these, like I said, already have sales on them. So why would I, why would I do that? And I do have a couple different sales going. And you got to remember what you paid for the items as well. That's another thing. Because um, if you paid 40 bucks for something and you're asking 50, you don't want to do a 15%. Um, and some of this is brand new sealed. So just like the Simpsons stuff, it's all brand new. That's a Christmas type thing. I'm not going to do that. Um, I will do this jersey. And so you kind of get the idea. You got to you gotta weigh what is it I'm selling and what's my cost of goods, what's eBay's piece of this, and do I have shipping on it or not? Those are factors that I would be looking at. And uh, so there you go. I'll be back in a few minutes to show you how to end this thing. All right, so I've got my... Uh, 187 items, that's what I decided to choose. And then you want to come in here and pick your dates, the time it ends, and I always choose the latest time, 11.30 Pacific time, which would be 9.30 my time. Put a title in, in this case, I just put Christmas sale, and then hit launch down here. Oh, I went over 45 days, I must have, yeah. You can only do a go up to 45 days, so. We'll back it off a week to the 13th of December. And again, I got to change the time. Let's make this easy, eBay. Let's hit launch. And there you go. Now it's in the pending status down here. And I'll scroll up so you can see it. Pending status, and it'll start here shortly. And it'll have 187 items in it. You can see I already have two active. One ends on the 29th of November. Actually, two of these end at the 29th of November. And then one's 500 and one's 338. Then I just add another 187. So I've got over 100, over 1,000 items on sale. I'm going to do more uh, later today. So there you go. I hope I showed you something, taught you something. Y'all have a great day. And I will talk to you tomorrow as always. Cap guy out.